Hi, Prabhu here. Today video is made for our subscriber request. He asked the tutorial of how to model and texture the magnifying glass lying on paper. So the final output is look like this. I hope you like it. Stay tuned. Before that, if you won't subscribe to this YouTube channel, click on this red color subscribe button to subscribe this YouTube channel. We post weekly free videos about Maya 2017, Arnold, modeling, texturing and lighting. So if you won't subscribe, click this red color subscribe button and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Okay, before we get into the actual project, we need to set the project folder. It's really important because we are not only do modeling. After that, we need to texture and light our scene. So we definitely want to set our project. Go to file and choose project window and choose. I will choose my new project. So as magnifying glass. So like this, I will choose my D drive and click accept. So now go to create panel, polygon primitives and disable the interactive creation. So that means when we click on polypipe, it will automatically create it in center of grid. So now I will go my channel box on layer editor in polypipe inputs. So I will increase my radius. So like this, so I will give my radius to 5. So and also I will give my subdivision axis to 40 or 50 so and I will give thickness to 0.2 so it's enough so now I want to move this one in Y so go to front view I will move in Y so now go to perspective so now I need to draw my lens so this one is the frame so I will select this one go to window and choose outliner so I want to rename my objects so please keep outliner much clean as possible it's really important so I will rename my object as so lens underscore frame 01 so like this I will close my outliner go to create panel nobs modules disable the interactive creation that means when you click on polys sorry no sphere it will automatically create it in center of grid press R and scale big like this until you reach our frame so before that I want to bubble this frame I will forgot that one so I will select my poly pipe and click on isolate select so double click on the sage shift to double click on the sage you need to select all the edge over here using shift and shift right click and choose bevel edge so I want to give some bevel option so I will give fraction to 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 so I want to give segments to 2 so right click and choose object mode now click on this isolate select again so now select this object and press R and scale in Y like this so go to front view press 4 in keyboard I want to move this object exactly in center of our frame like this now press R and scale in Y so like this now go to perspective and press 5 in keyboard now I want to isolate my object so I will select my object and click on isolate select now we need to add much more divisions so right click and choose isoform so click and drag over here so like this and also in top using shift click and drag so you need to add I will undo this one so you need to add on bottom and also in top using shift 
like this so add to isoform in front and back now go to surfaces and choose insert isoform so that means our isoform will be added so now I need to right click and choose hull and select this hull and shift select this hull and press R and scale big so like this so now I want to select this hull and shift select this hull and press R and scale like this so like this so now I select the center hull and scale in mid like this so now right click and choose object mode so select this object I isolate select so and scale little bit big so until it contact our frame so go to front view and press 4 in keyboard and press R and scale little bit in Y so like this so it's enough go to perspective and press 5 in keyboard so now I want to rename my object select this one and go to window and choose outliner I want to rename my nose sphere as lens 01 so now I close my outliner so I will go my top view here I need to draw my frame so before that I want to make a frame folder over here so this is our Z axis so I will select in our Z axis this three frame so right click and select the space and shift select the space shift select this one and this one so you need to select this four face over here now I want to duplicate this one before that open your outliner so now I want to duplicate this face go to edit mesh and choose duplicate so now it create automatically a group so I will expand this group so now we have two objects in our scene so for this group so I will expand this lens frame group so control select this two object and press shift to p in keyboard so that means it will leave the group so when the poly surface 2 and surface 1 selected go to edit delete by type and choose history so that means our group will be gone so now i want to rename my object again so i want to double click on this one so this is an lens underscore frame 0 1 so this is an handle slot so i want to rename as handle or frame holder so this is a frame underscore holder zero one so select this object frame holder zero one go to and click isolate select so now press w i want to change my pivot into center of this object when the object selected go to modify and choose center pivot shift right click and choose extrude so before that I will re isolate this object I want to move little bit in Z very tiny bit in Z and press R and scale in uh, Y so like this so very tiny bit in Y so now right click and choose edge mode so select all the top edge using shift and select all the bottom edge using shift now shift right click and choose extrude edge and press w i want to move in z like this so now right click and choose object mode when the object selected go to modify and choose center pivot again so now shift right click and choose extrude extrude you need to extrude in z so that means it will create some thickness for our object so this is very nice so I want to create some thickness even more so now I want to isolate this object and add an edge loop so I will add insert edge loop over here here 
and also this corner over here here and also here here and here and finally over here so now press W right click and choose object mode I re-isolate this object so now press 3 in keyboard so that means our object gets moved so like this so see here when I compare this one so this thickness will be less so I will re-isolate this object so press 1 in keyboard so now I want to select all the back edge over here so select this one so all the back edge using shift Okay, so after you selecting all the back edge, so now I want to move a little bit in Z, so like this, so that means it got some, some thickness. So now right click and choose object mode, now press 3 in keyboard, so now it's perfect. So now I re-isolate this one. So now I close my outliner, now go to top view. Now I press 4 in keyboard, so that means you got wireframe mode. So now see here, our frame slot is little bit in cross, so over here. So now press, select this object, press D in keyboard. So I want to move my pivot over here in center, so like this, exactly in center of grid. So now press E in keyboard, so I want to rotate a little bit like this, so that means you got exactly in center. Now press W, I want to go to modify and choose center pivot. So now it's perfect. So now I want to draw my handle. So handle, we have two parts. One thing is steel, another thing is plastic. So first I want to draw my uh, steel shape using CV Cow tool. Go to create panel. Cow tools and choose CV Cow tool option box. Here I need to choose 3 cubic and close my settings. So now I want to draw my shape. So in my top view. So like this. So I will draw from here. So you want to end up exactly in center and press enter. So right click and choose control vertex. So I will select this one. I want to move in Z. So I want to adjust a little bit. So I want to select this one and move in Y. So right click and choose object mode. You need to draw like this. So now go to perspective and press 5 in keyboard. So select this curve. Now go to surface and choose revolve option box. Here I want to choose in Y and also in nose and segment to 12 and click revolve. So see here it will revolve in this direction so I will undo this one. So press E in keyboard so you need to revolve in Z direction so go to surface and choose revolve option box. I want to choose revolve in Z and choose segments to 12 and no subject click revolve so now it's perfect so like this so now we have some problem over here so select this curve so the hole will not be closed so i will select this curve right click and choose control vertex so i will select this control vertex over here so go to window and choose outliner so select this go right click on outside 
and select control vertex so I will close my outliner so I will select this control vertex and press W I want to move in X to close my hole so like this so now right click and choose object mode so select this object and I will undo this one go to edit delete by type and choose history now open outliner and select the curve and press delete so this is an steel pot so I go to my front view and press 4 in keyboard I want to move my object exactly in center so like this so you need to move this object above the grid and select all other object and move exactly like this so I will select this object I want to move in Y so select all other object and move in Y so like this so now go to perspective view and press 5 in keyboard so now it's perfect so now this is an steel pot I want to rename my object as handle underscore steel zero one so now we need to model the plastic pot so it's very simple we will use an cylinder poly cylinder go to polygons and click on poly cylinder I want to move in Z press E and rotate in X as minus 90 and press R and scale down and scale in Z so I want to increase my subdivision so I will select this object go to poly cylinder on inputs I will give subdivisions to 40 so don't bother about this much of divisions so because we doesn't smooth this object so we leave it default as it is so I will give my subdivision as 40 so now go to front view I want to move in Y so like this go to perspective I want to move like this and press R and scale really big so this is handle pot I want to scale really big and press W I want to move like this so now I right click and choose control sorry vertex so select the back vertex and press R and go to front view press 4 in keyboard I want to scale this one exactly so like this so until it contact our grid pot so center of the grid so like this now go to perspective and press 5 in keyboard so I want to move a little bit in Z so I want to reduce my size so like this so now I want to add and bevel for this edge so double click on this edge shift right click and choose bevel edge I want to reduce my offset as 0.2 so uh, 0 0.1 it's enough so, and segment to 2 so or uh, 4 so right click and choose object mode I will select my object and click on isolate select so I want to delete this space so right click and choose vertex so select this vertex and press ctrl F11 in keyboard so that means the vertex will be convert as a face now press delete in keyboard right click and choose object mode now I re isolate my object so I want to rename my object so select this object and rename as black underscore handle zero one so now I want to group my all objects so I will select all the object using control now press ctrl G in keyboard so that means it will group our objects I want to rename as magnifying so underscore glass 01 press enter so I will minimize my outliner so now so see here the handle is really small so right click and choose vertex so select this one 
and press W I want to move little bit further so it's enough right click and choose object mode so now I want to uh, make some BG so select my magnifying glass 01 so go to front view so I want to move little bit in up so like this so very tiny bit in Y so go to perspective now click create and polyplane and press over and scale really big so this is an ground so I want to rename my object as ground G R G R O U N D 0 1 and press enter so now I didn't want any subdivision for this polyplane so I want to do subdivision with the height to 1 so go to outliner so I want to rename as ground 0 1 so it's enough so I will close this one so now I want to create an another plane for our texture so click on polyplane here so go to shading and choose wireframe on shader so that means you able to see our polyplane so I will scale really big and also in X sorry I will undo this one so I want to scale in Z and press E and rotate little bit like this and press R and scale in X So like this so I didn't want any subdivision for this object so go to polyplane 2 I will do subdivision with then height to 1 so I want to move this plane little bit in Y so so this one is the path path go to window and choose outliner so select this polyplane 1 and rename this object as path path 0 1 so when the paper selected press W I want to move little bit in Y very tiny bit so now go to perspective so now it's completed our model now we need to texture our objects okay before that we need to set our camera view it's really important click spacebar in keyboard so that means you got four viewports so here I need to set my camera view I will click and drag over here so that means you got only two viewports go to rendering click on create cam so it will automatically create it in center of grid press R and scale B go to panels perspective and choose camera one here I need to set my camera view so like this go to shading and choose wireframe on shader that means you able to see our wireframe so I will set my camera like this so now here you need to set two things view camera settings and choose over scan view camera settings and choose resolution gate so like this so now I select my paper and press E and rotate like this rotate little bit in angle so now we need to start texturing so go to select this paper and go to top view over here so and sorry here I need to set my camera view so here I need to go to UV and choose planar option box here you need to choose bounding box camera turn on the skip image with and height ratio and click project so right click and choose object mode so select this one and go to UV and choose UV editor so I will zoom out right click and choose UV so I will select all those things shift right click and choose unfold so it will unfold perfect press E and rotate like this so rotate in straight and press W I want to move like this so you need to keep our UV exactly in this white region inside of this white region so now I close my 
UV editor. So now I need to apply a paper texture for this object. So select this one, right click and choose assign new material and choose Arnold AI standard. So here I need to go my Arnold AI standard. I want to rename this as paper underscore AI standard. So in color option you need to apply and paper texture go to so I already download in my internet so just a paper texture so anything you need so I already downloaded so I will copy this one I will paste in my destination folder source images so in this case my D drive magnify class in source images I want to paste this one so now I want to go to my Maya so in diffuse click on this checker and go to file and filter type to off and click on this folder and choose this one so and click open so now press 6 in keyboard to see our texture over here now go to UV and choose UV editor here I will select my paper so now right click and choose UV so I will select this UV and press R and scale like this to fix exactly the content inside of our paper so I will select all the UV over here and scale in X and also scale in Y so like this so it's enough so now I close my UV editor now we need to apply an material for our lens so now I uncheck my grid over here so select our right click and choose object mode so I select my frame and also this one steel so this both object has a steel texture so select this both object right click and choose assign new material and choose Arnold AI standard here I want to rename as steel underscore AI standard so I will choose my diffuse color to all the way to black so and diffuse weight to zero and give some specular weight so in this case I will give one and give roughness to 0 0.5 something so now I need to apply and black texture for this both objects so select this one and shift select this handle right click and choose assign new material and choose Arnold A standard here I need to rename this object as black underscore AI standard and select this color as black so 90% black like this so I will give specular weight little bit so I will give specular weight to 0 0.1 and roughness to 0 0.2 so it's enough so now we need to apply a glass lens material for this one so right click and choose assign new material and choose Arnold AA standard so this one is the lens so I will do lens underscore AA standard so this is some glass material I didn't want any diffuse contribution so I will do diffuse color all the way to black and diffuse weight to zero so now I need to give some specular weight to 0 0.1 like this I didn't want any roughness so I will give roughness to zero so now I need to uh, set my light so before that open your Arnold render view so in normal it will render our perspective view I need to render my camera view so I will choose my camera shape 1 so now I will go to my rendering and click on area light so it will automatically create a center of grid 
press R and scale big and press E and rotate like this rotate also in X and press W I want to move in Z so I want to fix exactly in position of our camera so like this so now I need to increase my exposure so select my area light go to Arnold so increase the exposure much as you can so I will do exposure to 8 so it's enough or even more so I will do exposure to 10 so it's enough I think so I want to angle my camera a little bit so I will angle the camera a little bit so to view our lens clearly so I will zoom in a little bit so I will select my paper and scale down a little bit so to see our content in very small size so like this so now I need to see here uh, our lens will not be visible so I will select my lens and go to lens AI standard here you need to expand this refraction tab and give index of refraction to 1.5 so and increase the refraction weight to 1 so now also it won't shows our uh, so the lens will be high so when the lens selected and go to edit delete by type and choose history so our history will be gone so now I will go my lens shape 01 and expand my Arnold tab here you need to uncheck this opaque option so that means the lens will be shown over here so if you want to increase your uh, lens zoomness you need to increase the index of refraction much more so I will give 1.8 so that means it will zoom out a little bit okay so now it looks great but I need to apply some wood texture for this one so for our floor so when the four floor selected I need to apply an wood texture so I already have wood texture download in our internet so I will preview this one so you will just google it and download this one so I will copy this one and go to your magnifying glass source images so I will paste this one so now I need to apply an wood texture for this flow so I will select this one and right click and choose assign new material and choose Arnold AI standard so this one is the floor or wood underscore AI standard so in color I will select this one and choose file and filter type to off and click on this image name and choose this wood and click open so now you got an wood material apply for our this plane so I will increase little bit of uh, speckler so I will use 0.1 for our wood so or even more so I will do 0.2 so it's enough so now I will reduce my roughness to 0.1 okay so now I increase my lighting a little bit so it's too dark so I will select my area light so I will increase my exposure much more so I will give 12 or 11 so I will give 11.5 ok it's render completed so I will select my lens over here so after that I will go my lens AI standard in refraction so I will change my index of refraction 1.8 to 1.5 so it's enough so now I complete our lighting but here we have lot of noise it will be happen by this area light 
so and also we doesn't see our object will not be contact with this paper so that means we need to add an occlusion uh, pause and comp in photoshop so it's really important first of all close this arnold render view so now go to select this area light over here and increase the samples at least six so it's enough so now go to render settings in common tab i will go downside here i want to choose my renderable camera as camera one and image size two i will choose my full hd so that means 1920 into 1080 if your system configuration is low so keep this image size as hd540 or hd720 so in this case i will choose my full hd so now i will close my render settings now open this launch render setup window it's new in moya 2017 so open this one so because in previous version the render layer will be available in channel box so in Maya 2017 it switch over to here so it will it will little bit different than previous version so listen carefully open your outliner so here you need to take on two render pauses one thing is color pause another thing is occlusion box then we need to comp in photoshop so first of all create a new layer over here so you need to open your outliner in render setup layer 1 so i want to rename this layer as color clr and press enter so now right click and choose create collection so in this collection i will select this one here you need to drag and drop all your model so control select all your model in outliner and also the light so you need to select all the models and the light in outliner so middle mouse click and drag and drop over here so that means it will be add into this collection so now you need to check it will be render or not using this i button so when i click on this one so it will start rendering open your arnold render view now you able to see our scene will be start rendering so i will close this one so now i need to render my occlusion pause so that means you need to create an another layer so i will minimize this layer one so create a new render layer so i want to rename this layer as occ that means occlusion pause so right click on this layer and choose create collection so in this collection i need to add my so select this collection so for our occlusion pause we need to render only the models so i will select all my models in outliner don't select any light in your scene so just select the models middle mouse and click and drag and drop over here so that means it will be add over here but here i need to add another thing so right click on this collection and choose create material override so when this material override selected click on this override material checker and go to arnold and choose ambient occlusion so now i open my arnold render view so it will still rendering our color pause because this i will be on so now i want to turn on this eye so that means it will render our occlusion pause so you will able to see clearly but i need to adjust some settings in occlusion pause so click on this arrow so in material override click on this arrow so that means you got the occlusion settings so i will uh, minimize this tab a little bit smaller so i want to see clearly so i will minimize like this and zoom out like this so now i will minimize so i will minimize my render setup window so here you able to see our occlusion pause settings so here i want to reduce my spread like this so when you reduce spread to zero it will looks like a 2d image 
so I will increase a little bit so I will do spread to 0 0.5 so now I want to increase my samples at least 5 or 6 so I will give 5 samples ok it's render completed now I want to save my image go to file and choose save image color character so in your destination folder in images I want to save this image as OCC that means occlusion dot TGA so you definitely want to save as TGA file after that we want to comp in Photoshop and save as some JPEG so now I will save as occlusion dot TGA and click save so now open your render setup window again so now I want to take my color pause as a render so click on this color layer I so that means it will start rendering our color pause so I will minimize my render setup ok it's render completed now I need to save this file go to file and choose save image color character so in your destination folder as a color dot tga so in destination folder in images you need to save as color.tga and click save so now open your photoshop so open your file in your destination folder so in this case my d drive magnifying glass in images so i will select this two file and click open so now I want to take a move tool so I will drag this occlusion pause and keep this occlusion pause above to our color pause so exactly like this so now this I change this occlusion pause as so I will change my occlusion pause blending mode as multiply so see here when I hide this one so here you didn't able to see any contact shadow so when you on this one now you able to see clearly we have contact shadow added in this so this is our real effect so now I want to change my occlusion pause opacity as 60% so it's enough so this is really important so finally I want to save this file before that you need to increase little bit of contrast so I will select my background layer so I will select my color pause layer and go to image adjustment and choose brightness contrast so I will increase my contrast little bit so like this so that means you got little bit of brownish color over here so and also I need to increase my exposure a little bit go to image adjustment and choose exposure so I will increase my exposure very tiny bit if you increase much more the image get too brightness so I will increase my exposure to 0 0.3 so it's enough and click ok so now it looks great now I need to save my file go to file and choose save us in your source images or anywhere else so I will save as jpeg file so this is an magnifying magnifying underscore glass so I will choose magnifying glass effect so dot jpeg so I will choose magnifying underscore glass and quality to 12 so maximum quality and click OK so now I preview my final file over here click subscribe button to subscribe our youtube channel we always need your support to create high quality content further so please subscribe click here to also watch the tutorial of how to model a complex shape in maya 2017 part 3